Hello, and welcome to Blood on the Clock Tower. I am a little bit salty. You see, I was driving home from work today, and as seems to always happen as I'm driving home from work, my car fell apart. And, uh, well, <laughs> had inventory today. It was an abysmal failure. Uh, I work for Walmart, in case you don't know. We had a new system. It worked extremely well. We were one of the test stores uh, for this new system, and it worked extremely well, which was awesome. Uh, we had the, the, the best of hopes. <laughs> However, uh, when they did it company-wide, apparently we did not pay for enough bandwidth, and it did not go nearly as well. And uh, we started counting at uh, 2 a.m., and by 9 a.m., they had decided that we were canceling inventory because it, it went that bad. <laughs> uh, Company-wide, uh, or at least in the U.S. I, I don't know if it if, if others I don't know how, anything about outside of the U.S. But it was very bad, and uh, <laughs> so it's just like a waste of a day. And then on the way home from work, uh, I hit a deer on Sunday, and so I've been paranoid that something was wrong. However. Uh, my mechanic says that probably my drive shaft was on its way out, even if this didn't, you know, help. But the the drive shaft ha has failed, and uh, so on the way home from work, I was afraid that I was going to be disemboweled <laughs> because I didn't actually know what was going on, and I, I just could tell that something was terribly wrong. Uh, however. Uh, what would have more likely happened is that the drive shaft would just break and uh, I would just never move again. But I made it home and I didn't actually remember there was a game. And then uh, I went up to the house and more frustrating things happened. And then Trey texted me and said, what's your ETA? And I was like, oh, there must be a game. So anyway, here we are. It's uh, <laughs> a lot of rambling about probably stuff that's totally uninteresting to you. Oh, here's Trey. Trey, you're wrong. I am. All right, cool. Do you want to know what the, the background for my, my uh, Zoom is inspired by? Uh, no. The storyteller who gets oh, things get. wrong. No, it's the, the Vortex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's your car? Uh, it doesn't have a drive shaft, so it doesn't work very well. Oh. So, and I looked up how much it would cost to take an Uber tomorrow, and right now, when it's, like, during the day, it would be $70. So, that's so it's out. it's not worth even going to work. Yeah, yeah, because that's one way, and, like, during, like, daytime, it would cost me $140, and probably if I put in for 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, it would probably be, like, $200, because <laughs> I live in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. Well, the thing is, is that Uber's available anywhere. But they make the pricing so that people would be willing to do it. Because if somebody doesn't really drive for Uber, like, it's got to be worth, you know, getting yeah. up. Like, it, I might be the only ride that that person has today. And they sure, may be coming yeah, yeah. from New York City. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. All right. What number would you like? Uh, I want to not be evil because I'm in a salty mood. I know I have like, to give you a number. I'm thinking about are, a number. But if you're evil, then you can just get revenge. Well, I would hope that I was I was dominant if I was evil. Well, let's oh let's be uh, let's be eleven. Hopefully, there's a marionette and I can tell Soren he's my marionette. All right. Well, eleven, you might at least feel better about being evil because you're gonna be the spy. Yep, I guess. All right. Thanks. But you're gonna have tons of bluffs and you're gonna register as good. So hey, there you go. Thanks. All right. I'll be back. All right, Stephen, are you ready? Stephen. Hey, I answered. It's just my mic wasn't down. I I am ready. Oh. All right, cool. I'm a screen share. So a couple of things I'll point out. Soren used his ability already, and he chose the Raven's Keeper of all roles, drunking the actual Raven's Keeper. Okay. Um, it is a Vortox game, so Ned is your Vortox. All right, you good? Thanks. All right.
Interesting. Whatever, whatever information you got, it's wrong. Actually, what I was going to say is I stopped uh, having my backgrounds inspired by uh, our characters in the script, and I started having it by players uh, that are playing the game. This one's inspired by Trey, the storyteller, who sucks and always gets <laughs> things wrong. <laughs> it's 100% confirmed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's all you're going to give me, <laughs> that you believe it's a Vortex game. I don't know if it's a Vortex game or not. That's my my inspiration for my background. Uh, okay. I can give you my three if you'd like. Yeah, I know you're lying to me, but put to me anyway. Uh, well, let me, let me pick three. Yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, I don't want to have that in my three. That would be a nightmare. All right, uh, preacher, undertaker, or golem. If you're the golem, please don't nominate me because I've been the third time I'm in the script, and I hope I'm not going to get killed by the golem this time. Dude, you were you were evil last time. You deserve to die. Also, you didn't help evil to win, so you deserve to die. You were a terrible person. <laughs> Well, I was going to vote, but I... Uh, well, part of the problem was that uh, Grow was evil, and so that yeah. what made Empath 2, and I didn't want to be like, Emp uh, uh, Grow, you need to vote along, along with Soren, because you <laughs> may have realized that that wasn't adding up. So Probably not, thanks, though. Steve. You're pretty dull. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. will say I've gotten very sucky at recording. I'm not even recording any of my. <laughs> um, yeah, I missed the first part of. Oh, makes me so angry. Uh, Steven, want to have a chat in your room? Um, sure. All right. Any particular reason? I'm just trying to... That you want to talk in my room? Uh, because you're closer to the top. Oh, okay. All right. Hello. Whatever you think you know. Uh, so I, yeah, my, my background is just more from Treasure Planet, so hopefully that doesn't give you any heat on copyright. I also don't care if it does. Piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you that I am a townsfolk from Trouble Brewing. Are you the evil poppy grower? Was that you? I, well, I made Chris the evil poppy grower when I played the root of all evil. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I need... <laughs> it stroke of fucking brilliance, if you ask me. I, I love that game. Oh, I am the evil poppy girl. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I'll I'll have you marked as that. Dude, I don't think the poppy girl is in the script. It it it, it is not. <laughs> or, or the bounty hunter for that. <laughs> yeah. Right, can you give me anything about it? About anyone? About the evil poppy girl? Yeah. It uh, it's uh, only something a deranged storyteller would add into a game. Oh, and, and again. Okay, I can't just. All right, do you have any info for me, or are you just going to shit on my storytelling capabilities? <laughs> Mostly shitting on your storytelling capabilities, but uh, I will give you three rolls. Sure. Preacher, Undertaker, and Golem. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right, cheers. <laughs> Ned, do you want to talk? Uh, Yeah. Ready? Uh, my okay. uh, yep. Yo. I am the spy, so I'm just going to give yeah. you the grim, uh, starting at 12 o'clock, and you let uh -huh. me know when you're ready. 12 o'clock okay. is Fortune Teller. Uh-huh. 1 o'clock is Savant. Yep. 
Uh, next is uh, Jeremy is the goon. Okay. Brody is the empath, which is going to see Matthew the evil, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Matthew the pit hag. Okay. Lewis is the gossip. Got it. Gro is the philosopher poisoned raven Hurry keeper. Up. Yeah, I'm Bortok, so everything's going to be wrong anyway. Oh, yeah, that, that is true. I guess it doesn't matter. But if we were to change the yeah. demon type... Okay. Uh, yeah. Lila's the moon child. Okay. Uh, and Soren's the raven's keeper. Who do I kill first? Uh, Brand Brandon's the dreamer. I didn't give you that. Yeah. Who should die first, I think? Or should I go for Jeremy to change? I have no idea. You know. All right, welcome everybody to Town Square. Our nominations are open. Jeremy nominates Stephen. All right, Jeremy nominates Stephen. <laughs> Jeremy, your accusation. Uh, it's wrong not to. <laughs> I can doubt me evidence. So, All right, Stephen's forehead, do you have a defense? Yeah, I wanted to talk about my background. Um, I, for a long time, have had my backgrounds inspired by uh, characters in the script. I, I've decided I'm going to start having it uh, inspired by players in the game. Uh, today's background is inspired by the storyteller, Trey. Uh, I thought you were going to say Jeremy. <laughs> uh, Jer Jeremy's also wrong. Um, I'm not. And with that, Steven has died. No. I'm not a good kill. Um. I'm, I'm oh, useful to keep around. Yeah, it's very important that you don't kill me. Um, everybody, before I start the countdown and the vote, just make sure that you are in your seat. So Stephen is out of his seat. Uh, Brandon, uh, he, normally he's on the iPad, so he switches back and forth. So uh, sometimes Brandon will just tell me he's voting. So I accept that because of how he is set up. It um, sounds like you're saying Brandon is wrong. No, I'm saying Brandon gets gets a, a pass because of how his setup is, and he's he was kind enough to be our 12th player. So I give him some grace. Um, anyways, does anybody want any pertinent information to this wonderful nomination? All right, I'm going to start the countdown on Steven. It will start with Brandon. Here we go. I think he wants to put Steven on the board just to see how he reacts. <laughs> All right, and uh, four votes is not enough. So, uh, gossip. By I, the way, yes, yeah, I, I want to gossip. So, um, for sake of Stephen's videos, uh, I would like everybody to verbally say it, but also put it in the chat as well. Okay. You're welcome, Stephen. <laughs> it's you're wrong. I, I, I would like, like go ahead. I would like to gossip that Brody is the demon. I would like to gossip that there is an evil player or an evil character that manipulates the outsider count. I'm gonna gossip something that surely won't kill anyone. Uh, Brody is a phenomenal storyteller. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I'll gossip that there's a character in this game that can change characters, either themselves or someone else. I will gossip that the empath was a demon bluff. <laughs> We'll gossip we'll that gossip. either Michael, Brandon, or Stephen is evil. At I will gossip that three. we have an amnesiac. Mm -hmm. I'll gossip that we have a spine play. I'll gossip that I know of an evil player already. Hmm. All right. Does anybody else want to make any gossip? Obviously, you don't necessarily have to until the end of the day. So, uh, but yes, please, if 
if you made a gossip, just go ahead and put what you gossip also in the chat. So, all right, continue about your um, your sussing out of things. Steven, it still feels kind of weird. I can only see your forehead. Should be a vortex in place. So uh, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to nominate Michael. All right, Brody. Uh, where are you on this this thing? All right, Brody nominates Michael. Brody, your accusation. <clears throat> uh, my accusation. He's he already he gossiped that I'm the demon. I think it's fair to hold his feet to the fire as well. I'm also surprised by something Jeremy said, but that's beside the point. I'd like to know why Michael thinks I'm the demon. All right, uh, Michael, your defense. I don't think Brody's a demon. I'm just gossiping. All right, would anybody like to add any pertinent information? I would just like to say how proud I am that all of you guys are keeping your accusations and defenses super short, especially Brody. Um, we're going to start the countdown with Robert. Here we go. Hmm. All right, Is that not enough. Bro, is that because I always accuse you of being evil? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> never, never have been yet, but one day. <laughs> All right, folks, well, I'll start my gun count if you guys have nothing really else to say. I think yeah. someone should nominate Jeremy. I can't. Let's just hope it's not a Vortex it. game then. I think it might be a Vortex game. Yeah, someone should dominate. Yeah, I'll, well. I'll nominate Jeremy. I'll nominate Jeremy. Brandon nominates Jeremy. All right, uh, Brandon, your accusation. Um, I have reason to believe that Jeremy is good, but I think I think he, his usefulness is only so so. All right, uh, enough for me. Jeremy, your defense. Um, I'm, I'm role swapping with a much more powerful role to try to get killed at night by the demon. So, to keep me alive. Well, it's not going to happen now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay to die, guys. So, Jeremy, okay. the, ro the role you told me was. Was a roll swap? Uh, no, I just I think I flat out lied to you. I don't remember what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, got me by the second. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, are you the spy again? No, I'm the goon, so I think probably killing me is a good idea. All right, folks, I'm going to start the countdown on Jeremy, and it will start with Brody. Here we go. I, I did tell Brandon if we were in a bind to nominate that he should throw me up. <clears throat> like a Shabaloth, he should vomit you back out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eight votes is enough. So that puts Jeremy on the chopping block. This does confirm me as good, though. So everybody should come tell me their roles after this. Please. Lie. Lies. Uh, I totally believe that. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Jeremy. Thanks, Soren. All right, I'll start my 10 count again. Soren thinks somebody... he's the marionette, so. Screw <laughs> <laughs> you, Stephen. Okay, and with that, Jeremy has been executed and dies, and the game will continue. So I'll send everybody to your breakout rooms. So, we'll say <laughs> that this is going about as poorly as a game can go. 
Uh, which is unfortunate. We've already killed our goon. I am bluffing as the golem, which is impossible. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe I should be bluffing as the preacher. I don't remember what the uh, actual bluff rolls were. That would be good. Um, yeah. Maybe I should have put an actual roll <clears throat> in the bluffs. Uh, anyway, the outsiders are two. There is a Fangu, so there's a possibility of a third. Oh, there's a Balloonist, too. And the, the Balloonist is not in play. If the Balloonist was in play, then there could be a third outsider. Okay, I think I got the winning strategy here. I think that I should bluff as the golem. We have the pit egg. The pit egg can turn me into the golem, and I can prove that who I am. And then I can act like while well, I was playing aloof because I knew that uh, I could prove myself. And uh, then we can give credence to a balloonist claim. If I can tell somebody to bluff as the balloonist. I actually don't know what the bluff rules were. Uh, obviously, Ned knows everything, so he can bluff as anything. But yeah, I'll try to figure that out. I also talk to Ned all the time, so that is a convenient thing. Yeah. All right, Steven, there's been a little bit of uh, happenings in the night. I will just verbally tell you so that way you can change it, so that way you don't necessarily have to keep screen sharing. But um, Matthew the Pit Hag turned Brody into the amnesiac. That's bizarre. Um, and then Ned chose to kill him. Chose to kill Brody? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, Matthew spoke to neither you or Ned yesterday, so he had nothing to go off of. Yep, that's fine. Um, and then, um, Lewis made a correct gossip, so I'm choosing to kill Lilia the Moonchild. Oh, thank you. So, since, since the play that, um, Jeremy made, I figured I would go ahead and do, however, you know what, now thinking about that, that might kind of tell everybody it's not a Fangu game if the... Hmm. I guess I could kill one of the Ravens keepers. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll kill one of the Ravens keepers instead to give the image that the Fengu is still there. Tell you what, I'm going to choose to kill Lauren. I'm like not only the spy, but I'm also like your 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 conscience because I get to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to balance it because I killed Sarah as the Moonchild yesterday in it. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to choose to kill Sauron as the Raven's Keeper instead for the Gossip Kill. Um, okay. Because no matter what, because it's a Vortex game, they're going to get wrong information. Yeah. But I figured if I kill, if both the Outsiders Well, are if dead, you kill a uh, Raven's Keeper to the Gossip, you wouldn't actually give them information. <laughs> Because the demon didn't kill them. Oh, if they die at night, I think is what that says. Yeah, if they die at night, yep. yeah. yeah that However, it's actually, that actually might be good for you guys, but also it still gives the illusion that there's still an outsider in play, and a godfather might still strike, and things of that nature. So, yeah, yep. I don't want to necessarily take out... if if Well, you don't get Jeremy as the goon, so that would be both outsiders gone. So anyway. Yeah, I really am not happy about that whole situation. I nominated him. I didn't want him to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Um. But, uh, but yeah, but not, Matthew not having a whole lot of information, he was kind of struggling just a little bit there. So. You think, you think I should, I should talk to, to Matthew? Is that your advice? Cause you're wrong. Um, well, it's let's wrong. put it this way. When, when Matthew got the role earlier, I said, if, you, if he hadn't played it before, I just said, Hey, it might be a good idea for you to talk to your other minion. He's like, okay, all right, good. And uh, then he promptly didn't. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. All right. I'm going to go good. now. All right. Thank you. I gotta go talk to Soren. Mm -mm. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, in the night, you actually learned that uh, two people died. And you're going to learn that Soren died, and you learned that Brody died. 
And I'm going to open breakout rooms and give you guys eight minutes to chat. <laughs> Hi there. Last night, Whoa. I was turned into the amnesiac. I was the empath. Weird. Oof. oof. What? Okay. Oh. Oof. Can I talk to you? Uh, who wants, uh, whoever wants to talk to me, just come to my room. Brody and Sharon, can I talk oh. to both of you? Yeah, uh, sure. Can, uh, I, can, I, can I talk to Brody, please? Party in my room, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Then, Stephen, do you want to talk? Sure. Go to my place. Well, you know what I am. Yeah, I am the spy. Uh, I'm going to give you the grim if you can yeah, write it I'm, down. I'm, uh, I, I'm hard, I hard gambled that I'm hard claiming as something. Well, so, I actually have a better bluff for you. What are you bluffing as? Philosopher. Well, that's not good because there is a philosopher. Um, I think that you should bluff as the balloonist because I'm bluffing as an outsider. And you're going to turn me into that outsider so I can prove myself. Okay. So I'm just going to give you the grim because that way you have all the information. So yeah, okay. starting at... I was trying to get you to you day one, but I just couldn't. Okay, so we need to not waste time. Starting at 12 o'clock, Michael is the fortune teller. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to mm -hmm. remember all this. Aren't you going to write yeah, it down I, or put I, it in or I something? I need to write something. I, don't, I need to get a new note on my pad, but... Oh my word, this okay. is the worst. Well, come on, Michael Fortune Teller, got it. Okay, Robert Savant. Robert is Savant. Michael yep. Fortune Teller, Robert Savant. Oh, fuck. Come on, right. Michael FT, my, got, got that. Uh, Jeremy was the goon. Michael FT, oof. Robert Savant. Brody was the virgin. Obviously, he became the amnesiac. He was lying through his back teeth. He told me empath. He was the empath. That's what I said. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lewis was the gossip, or is the gossip? Brody, right? Lewis is gossip. Lewis. He gossiped correctly. That's why there were two deaths. They might think there's a godfather, so you're, they, so you may be, so you may be out of that. No, it's fine. Yeah. What next? Gro is the philosopher drunk. Actually, she's no longer philosopher drunk because the philosopher died. Uh, she's the red herring and the raven's keeper. Red herring and the raven keeper. Oh, okay. Good philosopher. Right. Ned is uh, the vortex. Vortex. Yeah, obviously. We worked that out. I worked that out from the thing. Uh, Lila is the moon child. Yeah. Well, who do you, so who do you want me to do if I survive? And then Brayden is the dreamer. Bra Brandon is the dreamer. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be a rough And one. I think you should turn him into the puzzle master. Brandon into Puzzle Master. Let me let me look at Puzzle Master before I say that. Puzzle Master. Steven, are you taking a particular bluff? I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm in a bluff as the golem. Okay. And I'm going to become the golem, so I'll be able to prove myself, so that'll work out. Thanks. Are you actually? Okay, okay. Uh, a storyteller question. If yes, sir. Uh, the pit hag was to make a Puzzle Master, would there be still a Puzzle Master drunk character? Like, I don't believe. Is it a brackets? It's not in brackets. It says one player is drunk even if you die. Uh, then he, then yes, because then the puzzle master would need to actually choose somebody. Yep. So yeah, if it's not in brackets, then it would happen immediately. If and it's I know brackets. what I'm doing. Brandon, right, cool. puzzle master, you need to turn me into the goon. So tonight, turn Brandon into the puzzle master. Tomorrow night, turn me into the goon so I can prove myself. You mean golem. Sorry, golem. golem. Yeah, Sorry. Do, not, do not turn me into the golem. Uh, uh, well, I'm so stupid. D do you know what you're doing? Just say it to yeah, me so I know, I know what you. I'm doing well for tonight. I'm doing Brandon. Yes, and then tomorrow night you want to turn me into the golem so I can bluff as that. Okay, fine. We'll just have to get me through because I may look suspicious. Yep, sounds good. I'm going to head out so that we're not talking the entire day. Soren?
Matt, you want to chair? Okay. Yeah. Did I go to your room? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. Lewis, I guess that leaves you and me. Okay, Stephen. Yeah. I'll go to mine. It's a second from the top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Okay, so I had a talk with some other people, and I think there's a vortex in the game. Okay. Yeah, so whatever info you got, if you do get info, it's most likely wrong. Okay. That was my prediction, see? Oh, right, yeah. Okay. It wasn't just about Trey being a bad storyteller. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why do you think the info is wrong? Okay, so... Well, um, Okay, so... Well, since they're both dead, uh, Brody got changed from the Empath to the Amnesiac by the Pit Hag. But Soren, who, who was the Philosopher, transformed into the Raven Keeper on Night 1. He checked Brody and got Empath, and according to the Night Order, Empath act before the Raven Pit Hag act before Raven Keeper. So if so, if Trey were to tell him the truth, then he would tell Soren that Brody was the Amnesiac, not the Empath. Okay, let me look at the Night Order. Pit Hag, Raven's Keeper. So the Raven's Keeper should have seen Amnesiac, what? but he got Empath instead. It could also be a storyteller mistake. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying um, okay. that that's a possibility. Yeah. Um, is that the only reason you think it's a Vortex? Yeah. Because also it could be... Uh, the, 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 how much drunk is in this script? Drunk philosopher that's drunk? A, that's a puzzle master. That's a philosopher who makes the other role drunk. If it's already in play, there's... Is there a poisoner? Yep. Mm. Yeah. That, like... Mm. And then the vortex. Okay. So there are a couple ways that people could be drunk. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, do you, oh. Brody, I think it's a Vortex game. I, it, there's no way it's, it's not a Vortex game based on everything I heard. We 100% have a Vortex. Do we have I to kill Do we have to kill a... Yep. I love it when people use 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. All right, welcome back, everybody. Time to kill again. Oh, so I started out as the empath, got zero. I got a zero. Last night, I was turned into the amnesiac, and then I died. Two people said they checked me with rolls, and they both saw me as empath when they should have seen me as the amnesiac because I became that. Both of those people can't be poisoned at the same time. I've also heard fortune t two fortune teller pings on me, which to me indicates Vortox or I'm red herring, but that in conjunction with everything else says Vortox to me. I think my and I think my zero was was full of beans. I think we should nominate Matthew. I'm gonna nominate Matthew. All right, Ro nominates Matthew. All right, Gro, your accusation. All the things Brody already said. Really, I think it's a good. Uh, if he's an empath and it's a War Sox game, he got a zero. And we believe Jeremy was the good goon. Well, Matthew is evil. It's as easy as that. Yeah. All right, Matthew, your defense. All I'm going to say is I lied all about my stuff to everybody. Lila knows what I really am. I can't claim to her today. And I might as well do that now. I'm balloonist. I'm actually the balloonist. And I got two people in balloons. I got Brody and I got Steven. 
for what it's worth, Matthew told me bottom half yesterday, and that doesn't check out with balloonist. I, I said I was lying to everybody. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I said I was lying to everybody. <clears throat> I have I pertinent. Said why to you, Steve. I have pertinent information. Yeah. Uh, this goes back to my background. Uh, it, the one explanation for everything that is pointing to the vortex may just be that Trey is confused and he gave everybody bad information <laughs> because he's Trey, not because there's a vortex. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the countdown on Matthew. It will start with Lewis. Uh, well, based on all that information, yeah. Oh. Uh, all right, six is enough. So Matthew is marked for execution. Well, I would uh, like to gossip. I would like to gossip that the uh, that Michael, Stephen, or Ned is the demon. Uh, so I would, like, I would like to gossip as well. I would like to gossip that the demon changed person last night. Yeah, the G the demon jumped rolls. True. We take a quick oh. break from the gossips. If we have a pit in play, um, we could get an Al Hadikia tomorrow to rush yeah. this. So just keep keep in mind who needs to stay alive and who doesn't. I would like to gossip that Sarah is very convincing when she's evil. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd like to gossip that Stephen is evil. In general or in the game? In the game, yeah. <laughs> Your gossips are supposed to be funny jokes. <laughs> so many people are taking this seriously. That was the wrong answer. Oh. oh. Yeah. I also think I also think Steven is evil. Yeah. But you didn't I say did. gossip in front of that. <laughs> I'm dead. Why do you think I nominated Steven on day one? I knew he was evil. Because it was a meme. It's just a hard social read, Steven, I got from your forehead. Well, I, I had to get rid of the forehead because of grow and now you get to see all my boogers and things as I eat. <laughs> it's a real disgusting process. No, it's just eating. It's also... Like to... Go ahead. I'd like to gossip that there's a spy in the game. That's good. Okay. <laughs> mm. All right. So I'll start my 10 count if we have no other, no other nominations. <laughs> Probably won't get any votes on it, but I'll nominate Lila. All right, Matthew nominates uh, Lila. Uh, Matthew, your acquisition. Yes, it's just because I know what Lila's role is, and it could prove something or not. You should, you know what I mean by that, Lila. All right, uh, Lila, your defense. Um, I would like to stay alive, and I feel like six plus is not that easy to convince. So I'm quite happy with Matthew dying. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just say you know what I know. Yeah, of course, but um, it sounds yeah. more. Are you, are you, are you okay with me sharing it or not? Uh, I mean, please don't, because um, I mean, I die in the day or the night. But yeah, I don't think I'm much of a threat for the demon, so it's more of a problem for yeah, for townsfolk if they found me. So you know. Well signaled, Matthew. Well signaled. <laughs> yeah. If you think it's a vortex, 
All right, I will start the countdown on live, and I'll start with sword. Here we go. Are social reads also wrong in a vortex game? <laughs> <laughs> Only when they come from me. No. So it's not just your case, story. You no, nope. George. Brody has amazing <laughs> reads. No, I, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well. You said that yesterday, and you were flat wrong. Brody, yeah. I want to, I want to try something. All right, so two is not enough. I want to yeah. try something, uh, Brody. Uh, are you evil? You got me. No, no, what do you think? Brody Brody often comes out when he's evil, and he, he says he's evil. <laughs> Last time he was the amnesiac, he was evil. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start my count down. <laughs> well, that was because of some, some fu funky varg wackiness. But... Did you figure out what your ability was? <laughs> I died before I could ask Trey. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I mean... This is Brody, after all. You have amazing social reads, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking by it. Yes, it makes right. social reads. I feel attacked. And with this, uh, <laughs> Matthew has been executed and died, and uh, the game continues. I will open breakout rooms. <laughs> so, it's a mixed bag today. <laughs> On one hand, we lost the Pit Hag, the best role in the game, and we lost an evil player. And we lost the ability to fix bluffs and such. We have a dreamer. That's not good. Uh, both of the people know everything. Uh, oh, why did Jeremy have to come out? Brody's wrong. Oh, man, this game really fell apart quick. But on the other hand, uh, Lewis gossiped that I was evil, and I'm the spy, so I might register as good. I would certainly hope that I register as good. In which case, the spy, the, the, the gossip will not trigger. However, I do not believe that I'm going to uh, bluff as the golem anymore, since that is no longer uh, provable. <laughs> uh... Well, no longer, no longer doable. I like I can no longer, yeah. So that sucks. So I, will, I can't bluff as the amnesiac because that was tagged. Man, everything just really fell apart quickly. <laughs> wow. So amnesiac is off. I could bluff as the puzzle master. But the problem with that is that that supports Matthew, who just was died as out at evil. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that's a no. I can't go as... Actually, I can. Because the first person that nominated me was Jeremy. I am the virgin. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I think that works. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, if if two people don't die, then uh, yeah, I think that works. I can just say I'm the virgin. My ability was ruined. And you shouldn't kill me because I'm good. Proven good. I think, I don't know. That Vortex, man. Immovable Vortex. What a piece of crap. Okay, Steven, so um, in the night, Ned went ahead and chose to kill Michael, the fortune teller, and I actually asked Ned advice, since he knows the Grim. I asked him if he would rather have you register as good and not have a gossip kill, or if he'd rather have you register as evil. And have a gossip kill. And he said, yeah, go ahead and let's have a gossip kill. So, no, uh, jerk. So I went ahead and, yeah, but where I'm going to kill. Well, you guys lost your pit hag, so I, this is my balancing, and I'm going to kill Brandon. So you, so Michael and Brandon are going to die tonight. Yeah, but uh, that was my, my hope was that uh, I would be able to prove myself, which I can't. But it's okay. The game was going pretty horribly. It should end pretty quick. I mean, either that or it's the trade-off is you should still have a dreamer. So, I mean... Yeah, that's fine. It's your call. You're yeah, the storyteller. I, I don't want to die, uh, because then that proves that gonna. I'm good. No, no but I mean, I don't, I don't you're want. You're not gonna die. I don't, I don't want the gossip to happen because then that that validates that I'm not evil, which I felt was more useful. But 
Well, would you like me to do that? I don't have a problem sacrificing that for you guys. It's really a 50-50 coin toss. You know what? Where's a coin? Uh, do I have a coin right here? I would rather uh, validate myself <laughs> as good. Okay. You think that would help? You don't uh, think you've been playing sus enough? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I had a whole story. If you if you if you validate okay. uh, the gossip, then my story goes out the window. Okay. All right. Well, then. All right. Then I can go. All right. I mean, because we also lose another evil player, which uh, at that point it's all on Ned. <laughs> all right. Well, then I'll go. I will not do the gossip kill, and I'll go talk to Brandon. Then. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Yeah, because I mean, at this point in time, it's really a coin flip, and I mean, I could go either way. Because if I if I kill Brandon, then there's another player out, and they're going to go after you for a day, which means that Ned gets another kill, and he goes into a final three with potentially, you know, yep. somebody else. So I mean, it it really could go down the wire. Actually, direction. having me alive as proof good also takes me off as a, a demon candidate because the demon. Right. I, let's just it's do it that way, though. What keeping you uh, keep, not having a gossip kill or having a gossip kill? Because I think he's, here's the deal: is if if you have a gossip kill and they think that you're evil, then they're gonna gun for you tomorrow, which is not gunning for Ned. Which yep. means Ned gets another kill and potentially. All right, go ahead and kill me. Go, go ahead and kill me. I, I think at the end of the day, Stephen, them thinking that you're evil, but you could also still force a world where it's the Vortox or something else. So, uh, I don't know. I think I think you you getting sussed out as evil. I think is the best thing actually. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and kill people. Just let's kill lots of people. Hopefully, All Lewis right. uh, gossips again tomorrow when we get an extra. I know, I win. know. He could. That could definitely help. So I think that that's good because you still have a nomination and you still have something tomorrow. So, but maybe you just get sus on you. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, in the night, you learn. Yet again, two people have died, and we've got Brandon and Michael dying in the night. Oh. So I will open breakout rooms and give you guys seven minutes. Jeremy, you want to have a chat? Uh, yes, to your room. I'll go to you, Soren. Uh, Matthew, want to talk? It, it, sorry, was that just to yeah. me or Jeremy? Jeremy. Okay. okay. Uh, you so can join if you want. Uh, wait, wait, Matthew. I'd like to branch out just a little bit. I'll see. No, uh, going to who have I not talked to? Craig? You know Steven, this is Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, Craig? I'll talk to you. I'll go to my I place. Have a, I have a storyteller question. Right, right, I'll be in my room. To you. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy. All righty. So... I don't know. I, I don't know what to feel about you so far, Stephen. I don't have a lot of information on you. You one of the one people I got zero information on. I'm the virgin. The I think Matthew was applying that Lila was the virgin, though, wasn't he? Or the Raven Keeper? I don't know what he was implying. Uh, I am the virgin, so if the, he's implying that, he's definitely wrong. Okay. But it doesn't okay. matter because the goon nominated me like the first second that <laughs> nominations were open for the whole game. So nobody died, and I, yep, yeah, that's that. Okay, so what does that mean? If the, if... Well, the Virgin, the first time you are nominated, if the player that nominated mm -hmm. you is a townsfolk, they are executed. Uh, the first time I was nominated, it, uh, the player was not a uh, townsfolk. And I will not be nominated for the first time again. That happens only one time. Okay, so okay, got you. So you're saying you're not gonna you're not gonna there's no way to prove your virginity. At this basically. point at this point I uh yeah. I I, I, I have a a thing I could have made, but I don't think I will bother. <laughs> okay. Okay, got you. All right, so um well, I'm dead, so if you really are the virgin, I'll just share with you, I'm the uh, dreamer, and I didn't check you any of my nights, you know? I got some information that doesn't, um, information that doesn't make sense as far as Ned goes. Uh, I got some uh, contradictions there, and Contradictions? Like, How so? Yeah. Well, we did a three for three the very first day, and the three rows he gave me doesn't job with anything that Trey told me. So, 
So there's a possibility of a Vortok. There's a possibility of him lying. Um, there's also a possibility of a Poisoner as a um, minion. So I, I don't I don't know. that I haven't gone after him yet, though, because, like, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's too many possibilities out there to be definitive that he's bad because of that contradictory information. Um, the information, I did check Brody. And the information I got on him almost checks out, except for the fact that if this is a Vortex game, then, and especially if he got changed to the Amnesiac, I should have got, I should have gotten that he was the Amnesiac, but instead yep. I got Impact, which is what he's claiming. Yep. So, so I, so I don't know even if I can really trust that information. Well, there's two possibilities uh -huh. there the way I saw it. And one was that you guys had that all figured out. And the second was that Trey did it out of order, and he accidentally gave Empath to you, even though he's not the Empath. Like, if okay. he went to you first, before he did the other mm -hmm. thing, um, but, I mean, obviously, there's no way to know that until after the game's mm -hmm. over. Okay. Alright, so you do think it's a possibility that he just went out of, not, he did the night order wrong that particular night. Uh uh, I, well, I'm just stating it as the two things that I see as a possibility. I mean, because you got him as the empath, I will say <clears throat> that it's a really weird thing that happened because uh, if it is the Vortex, it almost seems like giving you the empath is toying with you since he was the empath. Like, it's kind of like, are you guys smart enough to figure this out? <laughs> you know, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then um, the inf I got information on Grow too, um, and I'm not gonna go the th the three for three because I don't in case she's telling the truth I don't want to put her role out there. Did it jive? So I haven't seen, if it, it, it have, I haven't seen anything contradictory so far. Just with Brody and Ned, you got contradictions. Yes, although at the time when I got Brody's information, I thought it was a confirmation until he came out with that amnesiac thing. So weird. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Yep. Who is that? Soren? Soren? Yep. Uh, okay. I'll go to you. Well, we're royally fucked. Mm, let's hope Lewis does a correct gossip, then we'll kill his t-shirt, right? Yes. I did advise him. I was trying to play as good. He may not gossip tonight, being that it's so... He needs to. He needs to. He needs to. Yeah. Well, Actually, maybe, not, maybe Steven, not need to. It depends on what it is, the gossip. Steven, uh, you're dying tonight. Probably. Why? Today. Today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lewis gossip, yeah. you're evil. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> well, looks like the rooms are broken up. Steven, you want to chat? Uh, uh, if we're able open. to. Yeah. They're open. Yeah, they're open. Well, what do you, My place. Nah. Uh, you, uh, you should have picked me on uh, night one or got me to stay alive. I would have been evil with you. Uh, I'm not evil. Are you the demon or the minion? I'm, I'm not evil. <laughs> Dude, I like to play roles unconventionally, and you made it perfect, because I'm the virgin, and the idiot goon nominated me. <laughs> well, that'd be... Okay. That might... Okay. No? Well, that's interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, <Whatever>. it sucks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I hope you are. To everybody, could a gossip yeah. trigger a um, minion to die when they make their public statement? Yeah, I think yes. it's in theory, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a storyteller choice. Mm. Okay. If the storyteller thinks we're doing as poorly as all hell, they'll kill a minion. Okay. Could also kill the demon and end the game if they want. Like you know, they they yeah. hold a lot of power, as you can see. Okay. They get bored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, if I am in so much agony, I can, you know. Okay. Sex on the slot. Okay. 
All right, nominations are open, folks. Who are you going to kill today? I'll nominate Steven. All right, Lewis nominates Steven. Lewis, your accusation. I gossip that Stephen was evil. Two people died. I'm the gossip. Kill him. Um. Well, <laughs> I like this. Actually, <laughs> is it is it my time to defend myself or not? Yes, it's your time to defend yourself. You're so, starting, so I wasn't going to interrupt you. Well, people people were 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 chatting in there. Uh. And I like to lay, lay the kivash down. Uh, I am not <laughs> evil. Uh, I don't 100% understand why two people died. Just they... let you know, I lay the kibosh down. All right. <laughs> don't right, know what you don't know what people were able to hear because the the, the kibosh layer has been very rude to me. But <laughs> uh, I I don't know the, the the so the worlds I see are that either uh, Matthew was an outsider and there is a Godfather or possibly Lewis is not the gossip but uh, I am the Virgin and I like to play roles unconventionally and uh, I got to play it pretty unconventionally because immediately the outsider nominated me and I didn't get an ability thanks Jeremy that's great <laughs> so I guess if you want to kill me that's fine I won't get to confirm myself. Uh, well, the, this is the, not the well, way the I saw this going. <laughs> well, well, the gossip is a town folk. I would have died. So, vote for Stephen. Uh, Jeremy did nominate him earlier. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's an outsider. Yes, exactly. Uh, That's why I didn't die and I lost my ability. But I would have died. No, you would not no. have. Nope. No, it's the it first. Is only first time. The first uh, time. To, cl to clarify the virgin role, it's only the very first person to nominate a virgin, and that's it. It's a word of gossip be affected by a vortex no okay so i've had i've had like six know. people ask me this question the gossip has an ability the gossip does not receive information vortex only will affect information yeah it does okay. affect so social like reads though so if you think that you i'm evil then it's probably not yeah well it did say i was stupid so that hurt a bit all right folks if anybody Did has I? nothing else yeah. to add to steven's uh, nomination. I'm going to start the countdown. It'll start with Brandon. Here we go. So Soren is not stupid. He's just misguided. <laughs> say, say that again, Brandon. You're voting? voting? Yes. Okay. Robert. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is a lot of it. We lost two dead votes. What the hell? Oh my I word! I think he's. A, I think he's a minion. I don't necessarily think he might not be the no. demon, but I do think. He's a minion. All right, so six votes might is be. enough, and we have Jeremy and Brandon using dead votes. All right. I'm not gonna close the day just yet. I'll let you guys uh, keep chatting, but I will close yeah. the day soon. Do a gossip. <laughs> Uh, might be a bit late for gossips. Lewis, keep like, so You can it, technically okay, okay, the day so is not over. You can gossip all day long. Uh, I don't care. Okay, yeah. so I will gossip that the Fangu made a jump to an outsider. Very low chance, but if there's two kills, then it will shorten the playing field a bit. I guess that's a good. That's what I meant by it. Might might be late, but at six, I guess it's fine. Let's just hold and see who Steven's partner decides to nominate today to get him out. <laughs> I will gossip that all the the best players play in the 3 and 4 p.m. games. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you get to everywhere. I changed my thing. I now go for players <laughs> and against people instead of playing the game. I'm just rude to people. <laughs> Can I, can I retroactively vote for Stephen on that one? Not because I think he'll end the game, but because he insulted my storytelling capabilities earlier. All right, I'm going to start my 10 counts since we're breaking off into not story-related territory. Problem is, is I thought it was Stephen and Robert together, but Robert voted for Stephen. To his dismay. All right, Maybe with mine. that, Steven has died, and the game continues. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. We're at five. 
get to four. <sighs> what is the Moonchild read? When you learned that you died, publicly choose one alive player. Tonight, if it was a good player, they die. So... We go to bed tonight. The demon could kill all be at three. Or if the demon kills the moon child, it would force the hand. You don't kill her. I don't, I don't really know who you should kill. I don't know. It's kind of pointless. What a tangled web we weave when first we let... I don't know. Insult, insert your own insult. <laughs> uh, for the record, I don't uh, have any problems with anyone. I think everyone's great. Give me just a second and I can remind you that. Um, so is everybody back? Hold on, hold on. Let me do my announcements first and then we can talk about everything else. Um, all right, everybody. So in the night you learned that Lewis has died. And Brandon, to answer your question, it was you and Michael who died the night before. All right, everybody, I will give you six minutes before you come on back. Can we talk? Who? who? Gray. Robert, yeah. can we talk? Yeah. I'm your room. Yes. Yeah, we can talk quickly, yeah. Okay. My Second. room. Yep. Um. Hmm. And do you want to talk? Yeah. Okay. Virgin claim, huh? Who who do you think uh you should kill tonight? Well, I don't have any say in that because I'm not the demon nor am I evil. All right. I'm gonna go try to talk to some good looking no. people. Robert, what what are you doing? I'm I'm trying to solve the game. I think you might be evil. I'm so that's that's where I'm at. That's very mean. Well, it is what it is. Well, I was trying to get you into a whisper so that because people think you're evil, that you would look evil. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, that's all I got. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. I can talk to you. Michael? Hello. You want to have a talk? Yeah, might as well. I'll come to you. Okay. Hello. This sucks. Yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> I had yeah. two nights of fortune information and I know nothing. That's weird. How can you not know anything? Fortune teller's pretty because, good. Because if it's a Vortox, then it's all knows anyway, but I got a yes on Soren and Brody, and then I got a yes again on Matthew and Brody, and they were all dead by day. They were all dead by by the end of day two. Well, I am the virgin. When I got my role, I thought things would go significantly different than this. Uh, I not only uh, didn't have an ability, but somehow was gossip confirmed evil. It's like, what the hell? That is not how the virgin's supposed to work. <laughs> So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Lewis is evil. But he died last night, so I don't know. Maybe he was the spy? Yeah. Possibly. I mean, I don't know at this point. I think, um, I think two people are most suspicious. Well, what's this day one people? gossip? Is day one gossip? Ooh, I'm not sure. I think it was that there's a character in the script that changes roles, which I think he was trying to say that the pit hag or the philosopher, however, the philosopher actually doesn't change roles. The philosopher just chooses to have an ability. Yeah. So I think technically his gossip well, only meant, had, is there a pit hag in play? If, so if Brody, if Brody was changed from the empath to the amnesia, that suggests there is a pit hag in play. So I think, I think Lewis is on the, uh, up and up with the gossip, then. Um, 
Well, the only reason that that doesn't work for me is because I, I like, I am the virgin. I, I, the only, the only other possibility I see is that Matthew was an outsider, and there is a Godfather. Yeah. Oh, here, let's get this. Maybe Matthew was the pit hag, turned himself into an outsider, and then when he got executed, uh, triggered the Godfather. That would suggest that it's a fangu, though, if there's an extra outsider in play, because I've heard two other claims of outsiders. No, what I'm saying is if Matthew changed himself into an outsider, because he knew he was going to get executed, and then when he was executed, it triggered the Godfather, which made the gossip look real. Ah, yeah, possibly. That's what I think happened. Ah, okay, that's uh, worth considering. I'm going to head back. All right. Oh. Philosophize into empath after I died, right? Yes, sure. Yep. Um, I did. <laughs> but if, but if you get anything but a zero, then I think Lila might be evil because the Vortex wouldn't would give you wrong information, so Shay would give you either a one or a two just to hide the actual level. So, Michael, yeah. have, Michael, have you gotten any yeses on or no's on the four remaining players that are alive? No. I've got nothing on the four remaining players that are alive. Mm. Bro, you must have lied I to me. Two, I got two nights of information and everything pointed to Brody being evil and then he died. So, okay. Brody, The problem is I've got a dead player claiming philosopher. Yeah, they roll swapped. Okay. And what's so? What's Gro's number right now? My number right now is two. Mm, well, so mm, that I think that's a smarter than saying a one because. All right, welcome back, everybody. Breakout rooms have closed, and the day is uh, coming to a close here. Uh, nominations are open. Who dies today? I think we nominate for Beth personally. I don't Who think. We, I don't think Who we should kill anyone. Today? I just want to say uh, what I think had to have happened. Uh, I believe that Matthew was the pit hag, and I think he turned himself into an outsider, and the Godfather killed. That's what I think happened, uh, because I am in fact the Virgin. Uh, and I will say this is about the shittiest uh, virgin experience I've ever had because not only did I not get my ability, but I was gossip confirmed as evil, which is terrible. Uh, here's the problem with that. That's Matthew. okay, Stephen. One day you might have a better virgin experience. Okay, well, Matthew <laughs> couldn't have pit himself into an outsider because the day we killed him was right <laughs> after I was turned into the Amnesia. I don't know, dude. All I'm saying is uh, I know what I know. And that, well, I don't know. That's a show for us. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just kidding. Did somebody die? Uh, did somebody die? Say that again, Brandon. Lewis. Last night. I don't know if I missed, did anybody die? Oh, I might yeah. have missed that. Oh, Lewis died last night. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I, think the, I think the order of death was Jeremy Execution, Soren Brody, Demon Death. Matthew execution, Brandon Michael demon death, uh, demon gothic death, even execution, me demon death. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, that lines up. So, are we sure the pit hags out? Because the only worry I'd have ready. about going to sleep is if we have a demon that could do more than one kill or anything like that if we... i don't think we do but i think we will have to uh, to to kill uh dead or execute a dead body yes yeah and we could they like, could pit hack into an al hadikia and then we have a problem yeah execute oh yeah but... four talks execute my corpse yeah, like i mean yeah i think like if an al hadikia were to target the remaining three then if there is a minion alive, then the minion would vote to. Yeah, it's kind of dumb for all Hadiki at four. Well, they could pick themselves, couldn't they? Oh. I don't know. If, I, if an Al Hadiki was made, it's because it's they picked themselves. I, um. I think that what's likely to happen is the two most suspicious people, which in my mind are Robert and Ned, 
unless anybody else disagrees. I, I agree. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree too. Um, are going to be alive tomorrow, then we might as well just do it today. Uh, I lean more towards Robert than Ned, but. It is, I don't want to make that call with. So, I don't want to make that call. If there's a Godfather in play, there's a good chance that the game ends tonight anyway. I mean, like, if a Godfather is alive, then, then that would be the most unbelievable coincidence I've ever experienced in this game. Uh, it if, can um, happen. I, you need I'd to like keep the playing more if, if, if we're not, if we're thinking about executing today, which maybe we should, I'd like the floor to share my information since there's seems to be a lot of sus on me. I'm the savant. I've got four days worth of information. Now, I've, I've been running around with the theory today that we have a fan goo based on this information, but I've been told there's so much misinformation, it's got to be Vortox. So keep in mind, I asked that question right before my first day. I asked Trey how he runs the Vortox with savant information. He says either they'd both be true or they both be false. So just keep that in mind with all of these. Uh, day one, there are three outsiders, or the philosopher did not use their ability last night. Day two, the second kill was a godfather kill, or the demon is a fan goo. Day three, Brody was not pit hag, or Jeremy was not the goon. Day four, Stephen is virgin or fan goo jumped those are the four days of info and it could all be false or if it's if it's more hot. what was your very first uh, day's worth day first day was there are three outsiders or the philosopher did not use the ability last night ro did you use your ability on the first night what did you use your ability uh, the first night to switch? No. So that one was false, and the three outsiders one is also false. Well, I, I was the philosopher. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah. and I used my ability to turn into the Raven Keeper. So if Bro is claiming to be the philosopher, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I, I, I got the thrown a roll a bit quick and uh, thought that Brody had some reason to uh, to do that. First try to get you killed in the night. Because <laughs> you're quick because you're the moon child and you could have solved this. Who's the moon child? I thought I no, thought it was Grow. I, no, I didn't think it was Grow. I thought it was This Vortox is said, gaining abilities. Apparently bluffs are also all bullshit. Yeah, bro, do you said that she roll swapped with someone? I was trying to get her killed because I only claimed that in public. I talked. I you hear that, talk bro? To Grow Brody through. tried to get yeah. you killed. Huh. Yeah. In, in the night, when it's most useful. You, you're sounding pretty evil. I, my first thought was that Brody sounded really spooked when I gossiped him as a demon first day. Okay, so okay, so All right, Sor I'll... if Soren is the philosopher and used his ability the first night, and we don't have three outsiders, that means that one of those is true and one, and of, one of them is, is false. false, and Robert is evil. Oh, hold That's on. If one. it's if it's a vortex. Either one, where are we on this Vortox thing? Because this is all the info I have. So do I people think it's a Vortox or not? I think I it is a vortex. vortex. I believe it's a Vortox. And I believe it's Robert. <laughs> I, vote. <laughs> yeah, I actually believe uh, despise, Execute so. my dead body right. so we can survive. So, at tomorrow. this point in time, guys, oh. I'm going to ask for some nominations because we've been chatting for quite a little while and we haven't yeah. had anybody nominate, so... Or go to bed, one of the two. Oh, uh, we are. Oh, Kill we my are corpse. We have to ask. Execu ask killing is dead. Executing a corpse does satisfy the poor doctor's rule, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nominate. I'll nominate Brody. All right. Grow nominates Brody. Okay, Bro, uh,. You want to add anything? Are we killing a body just for the Vortox, or do you have a reason to want to kill Brody again? No, it was mostly uh, that the, the clock was ticking, and I wasn't sure if people wanted to. That was the wrong Brody. answer. It's you always kill Brody. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, um, Bro no, because I think Brody has great reach, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to start the countdown on Brody. Brody, wait, do I, defense because you're dead. Okay, go for it. Go with your great reads, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Execute me. Thanks for thanks for that. All right. Um, we're going to start with Matthew. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, wait, I forgot I'm the Zambul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking. No, I missed. If there's an outside who's still alive, then. Jeremy, Jeremy. Then Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> All right. what you, Ned, what are you thinking here? Well, do you think we have I'm, to worry about a pit hag or anything like that. A pit hag, I'm not so sure because nobody, nobody's been saying it because if they were pit hagged into a outsider, especially. That would be a signal for us to execute them so there won't be a Fangu jump. So I don't think there is one still alive if there was, you know. And far as the Vortex goes, I think it is still Vortex because my numbers have been wrong since the beginning. I'm I'm sure of it. I think well, I can't say 100% because there's never 100%. I think we need to kill an alive player today, guys. If there's a All if there's right. a godfather and an outsider still alive, we won't see tomorrow morning anyway. So we need to kill today. I am there's not three evils alive. I thought there's only if it's executed. It's not if it's killed at night. Yep. Uh, because when you when you learn you die, isn't it? Or is it, uh, is it when you? Sorry, do you day? think we should go to bed? Okay. Okay, and with that, uh, Brody's dead body has been mutilated again. And uh, <laughs> and the game ends because Brody was the zombie. Uh, so, all right, uh, I'm opening all breakout rooms. <laughs> Everybody, we are going to a final three today. So, uh, in the night you learn, Grow has died. It, it worked. Yeah. And and I'm gonna open breakout rooms for three minutes. It's Let a bike to see you, Trey. It's a Vortex game, Brody. It doesn't matter. But it helps. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, Robert Myron. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said? Is if you want uh, cheap content, then you put Brody in situations and he'll be act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We killed, we, <laughs> we killed Grow! I, I, honestly, I was more concerned about Grow not dying. Than I winning the game? Was... Now, had Grow... Had Gro not died, it might have revealed that what she was was just a complete bluff. My only concern is I have not thought or nominated Ned as evil. So typically my reads on Ned are very wrong. But I still think it's Robert. I think that first <laughs> savant information kind of Can I ask up. a question? Well, never mind. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've been, I've been, well, I've been trusting, I've been trusting Robert because we hard claimed her say. Um, why? I my info yet. Trey's yeah, working on it. Yeah, I'm just. I honestly I'm just think worried, why that are we, we started talking... with a vortex, and we've got a fangu that has jumped. Okay, that's what. That's honestly what I think. So, so dreamer info on Ned. Yeah, but who could when did you do Ned? Mm. And did you? When was their dreamer info on Ned? And. Uh, uh, the, uh, very, the very first night, I'll check. Oh, man. Okay. Because I think we had a, I think we started with a fan view. And I, um, I mean, I, that we started with a vortex. Uh, and just a second. And then what did you get when you asked, when you got Preacher and Excuse witch. Me, I can't hear you. Preacher and witch. Preacher and witch. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, because I'm the Raven Keeper. Vortex. I just got fan view. On, On Ned. who? Ned. But if it, yeah. If, yeah. Like, so, well. Well, yeah, a, a thank you in a Vortex could lead to the same demon info. If it's a Vortex, it can't be viewed as a Vortex. Oh, wait, Jeremy? If Robert yeah. thinks that it was a Vortex, oh, it's a Stargate game. Yeah. And his first, just... his first two bits of information were the Philosopher did not use their ability, and there are three <laughs> outsiders in play. We know that Soren did use his ability, and... I don't think we have a claims of three outsiders. We have me and we have Lilla. There's no other outsiders in play. Then both of those were false. Or one was yeah. false. The three outsiders, one was false. And the philosopher oh. one was true. I it actually just figured it out. Uh, the night that I died was not the, the gossip. That was when the demon changed. 
So Stephen's not helpful. No, we execute it, Stephen. Possible. All right. No. Uh, to, uh, what I'm saying is that the death that proved that I was evil to the gossip was when the demon became the Fangu. The Robert, hit... you read info? Okay, yeah, Brody, don't is... just discount and act like oh, I don't have a right to talk. I, I legitimately no, no, am playing the game. No, well, I'm I know, not but... just counting you, and well, you I'm did. sorry if it you... came across. I'm sorry if you it did came say the words, I don't way. care what you think, you're evil. So, that is what you said. Yeah, I thought, I, I'm sorry if it came across clip. I thought I had said, you're not being helpful. I'm, I'm sorry, because that did sound clip, well, and but I the, apologize the, for that. I was literally trying to get a worldview across, which is that that... I, I am the virgin, and there was two deaths when I was gossiped as being evil, and I realized that the reason that that happened is because the pit hag changed the demon, and deaths were arbitrary. Um, I think okay, that's helpful. Wait, wait so, so Jeremy died, then Soren and Brody died, then we executed Matthew, which means that if he was the pit hag, then... All right, the folks, demon... nominations are open. Breakout rooms are closed. Uh, Robert, you had spot info. So this is this is the least helpful information I could be given, and thank you for that, Trey. Uh, so the the two pieces of info I have is Ned is the Fangu, or I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce your name, but uh, Lala is the is the Fangu. I believe it's pronounced so, Lila. Lila, yeah, Lila is the Fangu. So um, obviously one of those people started as an outsider. I'm inclined, I'm inclined to believe it was not Ned. Ned hard claimed Oracle to me day one. Um, so I, I, my one conversation, uh, maybe I had two, but my first conversation with Leela, is it Leela? I, I, mm -hmm. I hate to keep going back and mispronouncing something, was that you were, that intimated basically that it was if you died or something it was bad for the town or if you, I, I don't know that could have been an outsider and I don't, I'm inclined to think it's her as a fan good job um, as someone who no I longer think... has a vote Ned I trust you Stephen's theory holds a little bit of water mm. so Lilla is uh, outed Outsider, those two, I don't have any votes. I think the issue with with the worldview that Pit had changed into Pit changed the demon into Fengu is that the night that that could have happened, which was after we executed Matthew, if a death was arbitrary, then the two people who died were a dreamer and a fortune teller. Like, I'm not Who were the two people? Me and uh, Michael. Well, one of those could be a bluff. Also yeah. true. I, I will say that <sighs> I don't see a world where it can be Leela that's a thing. No. It doesn't make think... sense because we've had way too many kills I think uh, is for, for there being no kill a night. Or that it just doesn't work. Then the it only could be way it works is if you're the and all my information is crap. Yeah. yeah, so um I am an outsider. I never woke up in any of the nights. I was the moon child all alone. And in the first night I taught people three rolls and I tried to bluff as a gossip in case we got a fangu. So um <laughs> move on to me. But I tried to bluff as a virgin. I I have a question. And then I told I oh, told sorry. Matt and maybe Michael that I was I can't Tell remember. I, I did tell someone else as well that um I was the moon child, but I, I never been changed, I've never been woken up for anything in any of the nights. So I am still I've got a question. How many yes. people even though no, I mean for the everyone. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um on the script, it has two minions, one demon. That's three evil people. However, we have, and I'm not saying it's happened, but there's a goon, could have changed evil. We got a fangu that could have jumped, making another evil person. So there could possibly be more than three. Doubtful, but possible. I mean, the goon, 
So executed in day one. I know, but so it doesn't mean they could have been picked by a poisoner the night before or something. Yeah, of course, but still. I'm it's just still saying. Quite I'm not saying it's it was likely. I'm just saying it was remote, remotely possible. Because mm. yeah. uh, the first night on the Oracle, first night the first night I got info, I got a one, which I doubted right away, and I even said that to the people I talked to because I thought the first night getting a number would be a clear indication of poor talks. Second mm. night I got a two, again not likely. Third night and ever since then has been a three, <laughs> which. If we killed three evil people, the game should have been over because it's only three on the script. That's why I was asking, does anyone think there are actually yeah, but, more than three? I think that would be about John. three. Yeah, but if you're saying we jumped, then it made the third outsider and they right. all dead. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, people, I mean, of the people that are dead, I got a three, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is wrong, is wrong if those are the only three evil people. Hmm. Matthew, we had voted out, so he would have been the, the day you got a two ping. Right. If there's correct information, potentially me as the goon being evil, and then Matthew, because Matthew's claim of balloonist certainly isn't adding up. Oh, I know that. We don't have enough outsiders, so right. we have to assume that Matthew was evil. But then I should have yeah. gotten a one, not two, right? But if it wasn't a Vortex game, if it was a Vortex game, getting a two that's, at least makes it look like me and Matthew were Right. Evil. That's why I'm that's why I'm th that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I, I knew that was wrong in the three the very next night was wrong as well. So that's why uh, I think Can it, we go around the circle or is it too late for that? Uh, hey, I, I'm gonna I was about to say I'm gonna try and push for some nominations here shortly. We've been talking about four <laughs> minutes already. <sighs> I mean, well, you're more than welcome to talk around a circle, but I'm going to need something. I did want to throw out one more thing. Uh, Jeremy's play, uh, he could have been glad that he turned evil on day one and got himself killed so he could stay evil. I'm just putting it out there as a possibility. All right, folks, I'm going to start my 10 count. I would like some nominations. I, think, I personally think it's Robert. I think Robert and Ned are both evil, but I think it's Robert. I trust Ned and Ned alone. I have no clue. I, I'm leaning Ned, actually. If Lil is the most uh, trustworthy person to circle, uh, I would Three seconds. Her. Nominate, please. Lil is nominated. Lil nominated. Okay, everybody no. is talking. Who? I heard a nomination. Uh, Who nominated? Lila nominated Ned. All right. Lila nominates Ned. Your... Oh. Your accusation, ma'am. I mean, it's a 50 50 guess. I can't quite. I mean, if, if the stuff answers a demon bluff, I feel like there's information. Yeah, even even if they are wrong in a this game, they all seem to be like false. So it, 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 it's a good, I don't know. I'm so confused. Guys, help me out. Well, All right, uh, Ned. Ned, your defense. Um, I've already given all the information I got. Um, I did hard claim first day, but that doesn't really mean anything. People lie first day when they hard claim people. It happens to us all. Lila, Lila, sorry, I've not talked to her at all, so I'm I'm just gonna go by faith what everyone says mm -hmm. that she's the most trustworthy. But that's all I got. I mean. It, I trust Robert, but then again, who knows? I could be being bamboozled with that. So there you go. All right, folks, since we've talked so much, all the pertinent information, you, you're more than welcome to keep talking as the clock goes, but we have said so much, there's yeah. no more. Uh, I'm not going to break it open for pertinent information. So I'm going to start the countdown, and it'll start with uh, Lilla. Here we go. Bro, do you trust your information? I, if I trust my information, I don't trust it. I don't think. I think oh, Robert. Robert. Ned, could you nominate Robert, please? Okay. I guess I will. All right. I wasn't so, going to, but I will now. All right, hold on, guys. All right, so Ned is on the chopping block with four votes, and we got Soren and Michael using dead votes. All right. I like to nominate Robert. All right, so Ned nominates Robert. Ned, your accusation. Well, I was leaning towards... Leela, but then Robert threw his vote against me, which I trusted him this whole game, and now all that sudden that happens. Now I'm still now I'm wondering it. about it. Now I'm wondering about it. That's it. I don't think we should 
Yeah, yeah, but your defense. I will. I'm still going to vote for her, and I'm going to nominate her. Uh, the the reason I voted for you is because there are two worlds here. Either it's either gotcha. they switch the demon and it's a fan goo, and I think it's her, and I that's my information, or it's a vortex, and I don't think that she's been the vortex the whole game. So that would only leave you. I know it's not me, so that's why I voted. I was watching to see who the people who are ahead of me in the voting order, who I thought might be evil, where yeah. they were going to vote. No one, I, I think Soren is good. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, but I threw my hand up and I don't have unlimited. I, I mean, I don't have limited votes. I'm an alive player, so I'm yeah. happy to vote on both. Yeah. All right, folks. Um, with that, I'm going to start the vote for Robert and we'll start with Jeremy. Again, you guys feel free and talk during the countdown here. I'm, I'm concerned that Matthew didn't vote on Ned. If he was evil, he would have maybe wanted to push that to five. Well, he didn't vote for Robert either. Yeah, but no, I, 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 I know. I'm uh, saying there's, Steve, there's Steven's vote. There's Steven, he was evil. Yeah. Well, no, I'm the virgin. All right, so six uh, votes is enough to take Ned off the block and put Robert on the block, and we have used dead votes from Stephen, Brody, Lewis, and Bro. At this point in time, there are not enough votes to overtake Robert by nominating Lilia. And um, Ned, you played me. I'm going to mute everybody because. Um, I would like I would like one person to to unmute at the moment. I would like it to be Robert because I had a lot of fun with you, Robert. Robert, do you think it's a fangu or do you think it's a vortex? I think it's a vortex. And you would be right. It is a vortex, and your vortex was Ned. Yeah. yeah. All right, folks. Here is the grimoire. I I will have to say that I did a nice song and dance as a storyteller to get evil out of the freaking hole that they dug themselves in on first day because, uh, and I will kind of go around the grim here. We're going to start with Matthew, the pit hag. Um, I even, when I went to him on the very first thought, I even said, Hey, Matthew, you know, I haven't done a pit hag yet in my script. I want to see how this works. Feel free. If you're not sure, you know, I can give you a little bit of advice, but go with what you're going to, you know, your gut says, I said, it'd be a good idea for you to talk to your, to your evil team. Um, to get to get you know their information and I left it at that uh, Matthew promptly talked to nobody on his evil team the first day and in the night he turned Brody into the amnesiac who Ned killed so um, that was not only was it a not even a double but they killed the same person that they did they didn't turn it into an outsider they didn't create a virgin they didn't create anything in that name now creating the amnesiac was going to be fine because it's going to mess with Brody's um, stuff, but then he just ended up dying. Um, which coming out, I gave uh, that that same night um, the gossip killed, and I figured I think I was I killed one of the two Ravens keepers. So let's talk about Soren. Soren was the philosopher who, on the very first night, picked Ravens keeper out of all the roles in the script. He picked the Ravens keeper, who there was a Ravens keeper in the game. She ended up being drunk, philosopher drunk. However, it didn't matter. It was a Vortox anyways. But so I figured, hey, you know what? I'll kill one of the two Ravens Keepers now and let's have some fun with that. He promptly also picked Brody, who to make it seem like it wasn't completely out in left field, I went ahead and gave him Empath, since technically he wasn't the Empath anymore. Um, <clears throat> and so that went down the route of Brody was turned into the Amnesiac, but he also got, I guess there were two pings of him on being Empath that night. And so that pointed you guys at Matthew, who obviously was the, the pit hag. Um, on the next night, when Lewis again correctly got the gossip, which was Stephen was evil, I literally had to flip a coin into, do I go ahead and do a double kill? So that way they dwindle the numbers down and you guys would gun for Stephen, leaving that alone. Or do I not do a gossip kill by having the spy register as good? And... Um, taking basically sus off of Steven, which at that point in time would have been not necessarily the best thing. And at that point in time, evil was sinking because Steven was being sussed out as evil. Matthew was already dead. So Ned killed Michael and I went ahead and Dreamer killed Brandon 
uh, in that situation um, because I did not want to kill the balance of Lila, uh, Lily, uh, Lila, is it, how do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. I just want to say it correctly. Is it Lila? Lila? Okay. I didn't want to kill the moon child because she was the only saving grace left for there to potentially be a Vorta, I mean, a, a Fangu um, suspect. So um, that's where that went. Bra, let's see, Michael, let's like, I'm going to go around the clock now. So Michael was a fortune teller on the first night. He picked um, Brody and Soren and got a no. And then the next night he picked Jeremy and Matthew, I believe was the order. Uh, actually, I have it written down. Um, he picked... I picked Soren and Brody and got a yes. And then I picked Matthew and Brody and got a yes. Yes, yes. Okay, that was what it is. The red herring was bro, and that never came into play. Um, Brandon, I'm going to go counterclockwise here. Brandon on the first night picked Ned, who I gave Preacher and Witch. Um, I figured if what in one world he could use that to, to, to show that it was a Vortox and to clear him, but if he'd actually gone with Preacher, which was one of the three bluffs, then that could have been a world where he said, well, no, it's not a Vortox, and, and there was that. By the way, Undertaker, Preacher, and Oracle were the bluffs, but there was a spy in the game, so everybody, the evil knew everybody's roles. Um, Steven, again, yes, was the spy, and so he knew everything, and he, I, I did, the virgin idea was, was a pretty good one there, and knowing that Jeremy the goon, but also on the flip side, I do like the fact that you guys turned it around, and it could have been Jeremy, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have used that in my Savant information that Jeremy is evil, um, and that he actually got picked on that first night to be turned evil and wanted to die as evil. Um, I already kind of went over Soren uh, and the Moonchild, Ned the Vortex. I went over Gro. Gro. All right. So Gro died in the last night. So when it, uh, Ned came down to the final four and he had to pick between uh, Leela, Robert, and Gro, um, he went ahead and killed Gro, knowing that she was going to get wrong information. And I basically was going to tell her that whoever she picked was the Fangu. Because at that point in time, um, that would have made the most to, clear, to, 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 to live in both worlds. Is it the Fangu or is it still the Vortex? And that would have still not really given much information. Lewis, the gossip. Lewis, did anybody ever tell you you're supposed to gossip try to get false information um, so that way people don't die? Um, the first two nights he gossiped correctly. Um, the first one was that there was a role-changing character in the game, which obviously there was the pit hag. And then the next night he gossiped that Steven is evil um, and actually gave me, the storyteller, the leeway to really change the direction of the game on a coin flip on whether or not I had registered Steven as good or evil at that moment. And um, I went ahead and felt that in the, the best interest of, of the balance of the game was to make Steven look sus, potentially for you guys to gun for him the next day, which you did, but to take another powerful role out and still give Ned a couple of days to um, do whatever he needed to as the demon, which it, it ended up working out. <clears throat> um, Jeremy was the good goon who died good. Nobody picked him on the first night. And lastly, Robert the Savant, who I had tons of fun with, except for that last day when I was like, Ned, I know you got to leave Robert alive, but now I got to come up with some more Savant crap. So um, you guys heard all the information. Everything was wrong. There are three outsiders. There are only two. The Philosopher didn't use the ability first night. Soren did use his ability to become the Raven's Keeper. Um, the next day, the second kill last night was from the Godfather. It was from the Gossip. Um, but I wanted, I wanted the world where he thought, well, maybe there's three outsiders and thus an outsider died. And I think also Jeremy died during the day. So if there was a Godfather in the game, that would have made sense. Or the demon is the Fang Goo. Because um, everybody was really hard pushing the Vortox at that point in time. So I wanted to kind of steer it back into that, that direction. The third night was the night where I was like, you know what? I got to just throw out a prayer to see if I can't really help evil. Because at this point in time, this was the night that Steven was going to come out as being really super sus. And so I basically painted a world where Bro either Brody or Jeremy was lying. And they both were not lying. So Brody was not pit hag. He was pit hag. And Jeremy was not the goon. He was the goon. I should have put Jeremy is evil. Um, that would have been a lot more fun. Um, on the fourth night, I gave him Stephen is the virgin. Obviously, Stephen was not the virgin. However, in a world, I guess I could say that Stephen was registering as the virgin. So yep. Yeah, um, I thought that was cool. <laughs> but And then the Fang Goo has jumped because I really wanted there to be a world where uh, Leela was the Fang Goo and that had jumped. And, and also, I wanted somebody to kind of point out that 
Lewis could have been right, and the demon wanted to kill Lewis so it wouldn't go to a finals three. And killing Lewis would mean that there wouldn't be two kills. There would only be one kill, which would make it a final four, which is better for the demon. But nobody really pointed out the fact that Lewis died before his gossip could go off. But it wasn't going to go off, but nobody really pushed it. said, what? maybe Lewis died because Evil didn't want it to get to a final three and wanted it to be a final four instead. So... Anyways, that was a very interesting game from the fact that I thought Evil was sunk early and I really, as a storyteller, really felt like I had to play a huge part to try and balance it for Evil and getting it to a final three and as close as it was again, um, I'm, I'm pleased with that. What did you guys all think? What are your thoughts? I won, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> all I can say is I sucked, but I still won. I mean, it, was, like, it was really your fault. I mean, like, well, if, a little bit. But mine, I mean, like, so it's so both you know, faults. You, you know, for a while, I was thinking there was a puzzle drunk who made me puzzle drunk. And then Steven, the godfather, constantly contributed the two kills each time. And then I had accused him based on gossip info, which because of godfather killing another person due to matthew being hanged into an outsider like i had such good plans i was uh <laughs> matthew was going to turn brandon into the the puzzle but the puzzle master so we were going to have an outsider lose the dreamer and gain a drunk and then i was going to be turned into the golem so i could confirm myself but then you went and killed the pig. Sucks. I was, yeah, because I was going to tell Matthew to change you into the Godfather because I knew everyone was gunning for you. And then when they executed you, then we could yeah. two. That way, they would have three because it's with the gossip. Yeah. I was going to become. That would have been great on day one, not on yeah. day two. Yeah, first, yeah, I know. First night, if I'd have known what was in the. If I'd have gotten to Stephen first night, it would have been so much different. I'm well, we won, to, so I don't want it to be. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we won. Anyways. We did win. <laughs> I mean, like, so, Matthew, how did you feel when I said that Stephen was evil? Like, you know. There was, basically. like, there was, no, there was nothing. I knew, you, I looked at your gossip already in the room, I, so I knew two kills were going to go off. So I knew. I knew it, yeah, I knew it, too. So I was just like, I was like, of course Stephen's evil. You guys remember I, knew when that, I, was, I knew that. <laughs> you guys remember when I was like, oh, Ned's the only one I trust for yeah. sure. So I, I wasn't going to fight yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't I was say I, I felt a lot better like, about it when I thought the people pushing on half, me were I knew it. I knew it was not a thank you, and I knew Layla could, have been, could not have been bluffing Moonchild, just based on the outside account. Well, I'm just going to counter that. Killer social read. Because a couple of people were wanting to just go to bed and it would end in bed. Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, I uh, wanted to find out if my bluff of going to Robert the final day had any effect. Uh, no. Because I, I spent about half my day with him. And then I told him, and I was kind of surprised he didn't say anything about it. I was like, I just want to whisper with you for a long time so people think that we're an evil pair. <laughs> it, was, it was 30 seconds top, Stephen. That was, that was, you were on the clock. It was... I will, I will... <laughs> Go ahead. Honor, why can't you oh, do a better job saying, of not being, uh, not looking evil? You guys have no idea how much. Maybe I'll my, save the beard. How much my storyteller heart sung when Robert started reading his information. He goes, "Bro, did you, did you philosopher, did you use your ability on first night?" She goes, uh, "No." And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> I was like, "I did it. I have, I have." One as a storyteller because it just went down the line from there. And then it was like the story came out. And he's like, "No, I was the philosopher," and it was like, "Yeah, I don't this know." This is if it's amazing. A... This is beautiful I... to watch. <laughs> I don't know, Brody, if it's a great plan to set up the Raven Keeper to be killed that night in a vortex. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was kind of twofold. I figured I figured there was a spy just because like just because like we didn't have a lot of mini in action going around besides me getting pay tagged. I knew Gro was the Raven Keeper, but I, I was more worried about Gro bluffing Raven Keeper and be like, "Oh, that that's why I'm not dead." So I wanted to try something, knowing that it it wouldn't like the fact oh. that she died was proof enough to yep. me that she was good. And so that, instead of us making you think it was Gro, yeah. we made it think it was uh, uh, Leela. I had to kill her then because Robert was suspicious. Alila is a moon child, could pick anybody, and if she picked someone who was evil, me, 
and I didn't die when we woke up, game over. Everybody it was very died. useful to know that she was the Moonchild. I was thinking mm -hmm. that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matthew. Matthew kind of let everybody. In. So, see, Matthew, you did well. That was I, I knew what you were doing there. That was a good job. <laughs> Robert, yeah. sorry for your. Well, anyway, I do not have a car. But I did win as evil, so there's that. <laughs> um, we should have won yesterday, but you know, it's a game, and I will say I think Good had a very enjoyable time. I saw the look in everyone's eyes; they sat on the edge of the teeth and their seat, and they're like, "Yes!" <laughs> uh, but today that did not happen. Uh, well, I, well, the one thing I do regret is voting on the final day because as soon as i voted that that suspense was gone and i think it would have been funner uh for people to sit on the edge of their seats again because at that point there was no possible way for us to lose so i should have just allowed all of the talent <laughs> folk and that was the thing uh so many dead votes had been spent and there were four votes, which was impossible for evil to tie. And the only way uh, we could win was if a lot of townsfolk voted. And the weird thing about the whole thing is that I believe that there were exactly five good votes. Ned uh, being not 100% known as evil uh, made a sixth vote. But that was it. <laughs> and uh, Robert wasn't going to vote on himself. So it's extremely unlikely outcome. There were literally four votes sitting there until Brody threw his hand up. And I was like, if Brody doesn't throw his hand up, that's it. Because there's no way that they're going to allow it to go to four votes. Tie. <laughs> so Brody threw his hand up. I didn't vote until after all the... Oh my goodness, that was such a... I don't know if it was a good game or what it was. I don't think we did anything phenomenal. It's just that it was a vortex and there was no hard damning information. And I do think that me being out at evil was the right play. Because A, we got two extra kills plus execute. So it was actually four extra kills. Because, well, not really four extra kills. Because the demon would have killed one. But there was my, the gossip extra kill. And then killing me, which got the demon an extra kill. So we'll say three extra kills. Because we could have killed the demon that day. But anyway, uh, I think I've rambled enough. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.